Okay, so we start <coughs> our journey. And this is, I think, the start of the hill. I do wonder why people think that's acceptable. If you brought it with you, take it home, don't just pile it up on the floor. While I'm having my little rant about rubbish, <laughs> doggy poo bags. Oh, don't get any started on doggy poo bags. Seriously. I think we'd better leave doggy poo bags because it will be like starting a conversation on politics and yeah. it'll open a big can of worms. The only thing I'd say is if I was running the National Trust, and this is really going to throw some comments, until people can take their poo bags home, I'd ban the dogs from all National Trust properties and I know that affects the major vast majority ruined by the minority but doggy poo bags are everywhere anyway onwards and upwards onwards and upwards time for coffee yet <laughs> you only want to take some weight out of your backpack yeah. So, once you get to the, sound like an expert here, but I'm only, once you get to the top of the road that goes to the house, then bear off right. And if you lived in that house, you'd be very happy. What amazing views. Just fantastic. Mm. Right. We're only about half an hour in. I'd quite happily stand underneath that waterfall. Yeah. Oh, it's warm. Actually, there's a nice little pool down there. I remember that the way back, put our feet in. <laughs> so, in the distance, or that next bit of land past the cliffs there, that's Ulva, the Isle of Ulva whether you can see the boats that go back and forth. I don't know, but uh, yeah. We've got a boat trip out of there tomorrow to a couple of the islands, haven't we? Fingal's Cave and the Puffins or something. That'd be good. Lovely. Oh, there's a frog. Mm. Yeah. Just got under there. There he is. Oh, he's just gone under there. What? Wow. That is crazy. Oh. Huh? It is quite wet. Yeah, I suppose, yes. Yeah. Look at that pool. Yes. There's 
quite a lot of this uh, gravelly screed climbing. We can sort of see the people just making their last approach to the summit. So we're getting closer. The views are Amazing. Amazing so far. Just incredible. Okay. Well, you can hear me, he's panting. Huh. the summit in the distance. Yeah. Afternoon. I think we're nearly there aren't we? Yes Why do we do this? <laughs> Why do we make this Because the views at the top are going to be <laughs> stunning. Yes. Let's have a, well, let's have a, just a... <laughs> just. Uh, what is that island over there? Are there three, big, three big mountains? Uh, I don't know. I don't think that's an island, but I'll have to check. You can see, um, you can see Ben Nevis up there. Here comes Jane. Couple of seconds behind. You all right? Is it? Yeah. Well done, love. High five. <laughs> High five. <laughs> yeah. Right, should we go down now? No. We're going to have lunch. Lunch. I reckon that it, over there where I'm sort of pointing now, over there mm. is um, Fidden Farm and that's um, Iowa, whatever it is. Right. Yeah, oh. that's Fidden Farm down there. That's the other end of the, sort of like the island sticking down there. Midges. Midges, how the fuck are midges up here? Oh, sorry. So it does get a bit easier. The lower down you get, I think we're fairly, both fairly tired. Not uh, used to climbing Monroes in <laughs> hot weather. <laughs> Certainly not Scottish Monroes in hot weather. <laughs> yes, yeah, so there's two, there's two things you no, don't normally say in one sentence. <laughs> I'm sure they get a lot of very good, decent weather oh, up here. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. 
where we find one of those um, pools a bit lower down just to put our feet stick in. Stick our feet in for a few minutes. That'll be very nice. I don't mind putting a soggy sock on afterwards. No. Give it, oh, uh, a little dry minutes, I'm sure. That's true, yes. And I've got a scarf with me. You can dry it off with our scarf. No, no, like you say, it's going to dry off in a minute or two. John's oh. like a mountain goat. Sorry? He's like a mountain goat. Yeah. Right, let's go. It's a little bit further down, isn't it, before yeah. we get to that pool? But yeah, uh, I, I, yeah, there are a few actually. There was a path leading down to one on the right. Did you see it? No, I didn't. But uh, let's. Uh, I think we just try and get a little bit further down. There was that very first one we saw, wasn't there? That uh, yeah. On the way up, we'll have a look at that. So we've just seen a, another frog. Let's see if we can, uh, there he is. Ooh. <laughs> there he goes. Uh, yeah, a very light color. Oh gosh, he's off. There he is, gone. That's two frogs. <laughs> Fantastic. You wouldn't have thought them up a Scottish mountain, but I suppose water, puddles, yeah. John's in. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Yeah, let's get the feet in. Oh. 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 Just be careful. Huh? Oh yeah, you'll have to... <laughs> oh. Oh. What he needs, a little coffee bar there. <laughs> uh. Yeah, back to civilization. There's a road ahead. And I can see oh, the car. Oh, I can see our car as well. No one's nicked the kayaks, that's good. No. They might have gone out with them and just popped them back. Yeah, that's true. They might have borrowed them. As long as they've left a pound on the roof. <laughs> So we're heading, heading back now from climbing Ben Moore. I think it would be fair to say we're <laughs> shattered. 
shattered. <laughs> Absolutely shattered. Yeah, that was uh, for a couple of not fit people. Mm -hmm. That was um, quite challenging. That was challenging, but really good. The views, well, as you have seen from the top, were just amazing. See all the way to Ben Nevis, just down to Hebrides, just yeah, amazing. <coughs> yeah, very, uh, but uh, yeah, very tired. Uh, sore feet, and uh, ready for a beer. The soak, and the, the soak in the stream was rather nice, wasn't it? Yeah, yes, that was... Uh, really helped to cool the feet down. Definitely. But yeah, if you get the chance on a on a sunny day, yeah, and you're a reasonable level of fitness, just do it. It was fantastic. But uh, if it's as warm as it was for us, lots of water, yeah, cover up. Slip, slap, slop, or whatever it is. <laughs> and uh, yeah, enjoy. That's very good. So, and we were. Uh, come in. Sorry, say again. Um, we were. With a golden eagle. And, yes, I don't think we caught that on camera or whatever. No. But yeah, so we saw the eagle on the way up. Yeah. We knew it was an eagle, but we didn't know what it was. But some bird spotters had been speaking to somebody at the top said that there was a golden eagle circling. So it was, um, yeah, it was definitely a golden eagle. But then when we got to the top, sitting there having some lunch. Yeah, there was a golden eagle came up a little further away and then came over the over the top of us. Uh, a bit too high to, to film or anything, but did you get any shots? I might have got some shots. I haven't seen ducks yet. So okay. We'll pop those on. We will be sticking if we did get a shot we will be showing the shots now. Uh, we'll be showing the shots now. If we did. So that's it. We'll uh, sign out now and um, we might, uh, yeah, we might get some shots at the campsite now or tomorrow or we'll be back tomorrow, which will be a second, uh, back tomorrow because we're off on uh, a boat to, as I think we said earlier on, Cave and uh, Lunga, is it? Uh, see some puffins and that. Mm. Lovely.